All right, guys, what is growing on? So I am back in Brandon this morning for a 90 day follow up. It's actually 91 days since we did this project. And I almost wanna just shut up and walk around with the camera because nature here is just going off. You'll hear the birds, you're gonna see the bees, you're gonna see the butterflies. And still kinda of early in the morning, it's just after 8 a.m. So as the day continues and it brightens up, more of that stuff starts to come in. But I'm gonna be quiet. You guys ready to check this out? It's kinda of mind blowing. So the dune sunflower has done a fantastic job here of filling in. And I would have been out just a little earlier with the camera, but I've been having some technical difficulties this morning. This gimbal is definitely starting to act up a little bit. Changed my batteries, reset it 10 times. I have a backup, I should have it with me next time. I'm not gonna forget it. So camera's fixed, now I'm replacing the gimbal. It has been a long time since I bought some new equipment. But look at the dune sunflower, and this is supposed to be the East Coast variety which is also supposed to be a little bit shorter. I'm surprised how tall it is here. I'm gonna ask the native nursery about that, make sure they gave me the right variety. This giant everberry mulberry that was here is quite big, probably ready to be pruned also, but I just wanted to show you guys outside the fence. I mean, there has been no weed pressure here, no weed penetration, nothing but just beautiful sunflowers along there, attracting the beneficial predatory insects. Sandra says she's out here for about an hour a week doing some hand weeding and just kind of turned it into part of the exercise routine so coming out pulling weeds you know getting the squats in just kind of getting out here every day on a regular basis and it hasn't been too much on her she said maybe an hour maybe an hour and a half a week of just hand maintenance now you got to remember this used to get have grass this used to take time this used to need to be cut um, you know constantly maintaining the beds so when you kind of you know weigh out or balance out that maintenance I think it works out to be about the same salvias here are huge I mean, look at this place, so. Oh, hey, kitty cat. Oh. Crepe myrtle has flowers on it. Everything is just filled in so nicely. We only have a few small bare areas left. Cranberry hibiscus doing really good. Finally got those raised beds on the porch. Vetiver grass is almost as tall as I am. Edible can is filling in really well. I'm seeing some new growth here on the Groomy Chama. Looks like over here along the back, we are, guys, this is what I'm talking about with this gimbal. Wants to go up, wants to go down on its own. We're gonna be uh, struggling out here today. Hoping we can figure something out. Over in this area, all the fire bush is filling out nicely. Um, edible leaf hibiscus, togan spinach. I and mean, look at these things, they're as tall as I am. Whoa! These are actually really delicious too. I would just walk the site with the homeowner when I first got here. I was like, have you tried this yet? She was grabbing a big leaf, bringing it in to have maybe in her smoothie or for breakfast. So, makes a really great wrap or chopped up, just put into like a lettuce mix or something. They've got the bird baths out, the Andorondex chairs in the corner. Sweet almonds flowered out really nice. Turk's caps filling in. I've started to see some of those red flowers. Surprise the Rosa Sharon's not flowering out yet. And we've got some random, tu random turmeric. This was not planted here. There used to be some turmeric in this yard. Probably didn't get all those roots up. We have the same thing going on the other side by the fountain. Um, blue porter weeds filled in really nice. Pagodas are looking... Um, Really good, our farfugiums are filling in nice. I'm surprised there's no yellow flowers yet. Native coffee doing its thing. Turk's cap starting to get some flowers on it. Chipotacaba looking really good. And this perennial vegetable area is filling in nicely. Not a lot of gaps in here still. I will say that uh, bird bath element looks great there in the corner. Turk's cap, Monstera, this, um, Papaya we actually just planted last week when we came back to do the raised beds and that's what brought me back here today. Ryan was here putting the beds in. He's like, you have to get back there and make a video. That place looks unbelievable. Um, and it does. They've been doing a great job here, Sandra. The yard looks unreal. Um, she said she put some special bacterias down a few weeks ago and definitely noticed a growth, growth 
difference from that, you know, from that application. So we have not fertilized again since. It's only been 90 days since we originally installed this. Chipotacaba, I see some new growth. Bed of her grass looking really good. Check out this tropical corner. So we've got the olive, the papaya, the Suriname cherry. Taro is in there filling in nicely. And just since we've done this and put in the banana pit, we have a big rack of bananas. So happens really quickly. The Katuk looks awesome back in there. Really liking it up by the house. See the variegated ones over here on this side. Mimosa's filling in really good. I'm surprised that lavender's hanging on as long as it has. Society garlic's doing really well. And pineapple guava's put on a ton of growth. We've got some Vitex throughout here. One thing I will say is the Gallardia has gotten completely out of control. I'll show you guys when we get over here to the other side. Um, rosemary doing really good. I noticed this one had a brown spot on it. Sometimes pets, um, pets can cause that. They do have some dogs here. Dog probably was out in the garden. This is the area I was just talking about with the Gallardia. It's gotten a little bit out of control, kind of falling out over the sidewalk, gotten a little large, falling over with the rains they had last night. Um, but this whole area, you guys have to go back to my previous video, it was very sparse when it was originally installed. I see fruit all over the Catley Guava. Like I said, finally got those raised beds in up there on the porch. Cranberry hibiscus filling in nicely. Whoa. All right, what is growing on? Seeing a little bit of our um, pest management going on over here inside of the, uh, the olive tree. There's some wasps up in there. Whoa. So as long as they aren't bothering you, we really try to leave the wasps alone. They will work for you and with you, not against you. You just don't want to get stung by them. So stay out of their way and they'll stay out of yours. Guys, we did not have any trellises here when we first did this. That trellis with the butterfly pea is completely filled in. The one with the passion fruit struggled a little bit more because we have a you know, host butterfly problem here. Um, you know, With the passion fruit vines, they can get quite attacked here in spring. Normally by summertime, they're starting to flush back out and it will fill out eventually. But here's the other area I was talking about where we have a couple of turmeric that are just volunteers um, or here from the prior planting. Kinoff's filling in really good. Be waiting on that loquat for next year. And just look at this Gallardia. Just going nuts here, filled with flowers. I mean, this is a flower garden like no other. I'm really impressed with how well it's filled in. This is the Nature's Kool-Aid. Definitely gonna make a video with this here. Got something in the works for you guys, don't worry. Nice patch of blue porter weed here up along the fence. And once again, just look at this dune sunflower. Catley guavas all have fruit on them. Whoa, so 90 days of growth. Pretty unbelievable how quick things grow, especially once we get into rainy season. Um, Gurmi Chama over here putting on some new growth. The John Starnes rose is completely covered in roses. Our native firebush is looking really good. Vitex is loaded. Like I said, definitely didn't plant the crepe myrtle. Not one that we use often, but it has flowers on it and does look good while flowering. This dune sunflower is getting so big, it's literally coming through and starting to get onto some of these bushes. Probably time to do a little bit more pruning there again. Same thing with the Mexican sunflower, that's gotten so big. Um, it's definitely time to tip this one down. It can get a little large, a little quick. It's probably only used a couple here. We've got two in the corner over there, and this one over here, probably let one or two of them flower, prune this one back. Um, we used some bullvine here, that seems to be doing really good. We have the orange and the yellow. This is the orange variety here along the sidewalk. All right. Can't even see the green mulberry. The Mexican sunflower got so big. So you can see those things grow super fast. Probably hasn't been pruned yet. And then we plant these as a little one gallon. You know, here we are 90 days later. This thing's like eight foot tall. I mean, oh, towering over my head. So I am 6'1" and that is a big bush. All right, so you can see back in here, um, sunshine mimosa, perennial peanut ground covers have done really good. They're staying on top of filling up those ant stations. Mealy grass is really filled in nicely. And I am just super impressed, so.
guys believe this? 90 days since planting. Place is almost a butterfly jungle. Um, really impressed with how quickly things have filled out here, how well things are doing. Um, you know, being out here in the garden on a weekly basis, pulling weeds, having your eyes on things, I think makes a huge difference. You know, if this would have been 90 days and nobody did anything out here or there wasn't attention in the garden, it definitely wouldn't look the same it does today. There's a presence, somebody showing up, somebody's hand pruning, you know, somebody's out here looking to see if there's a pest problem, pulling any little weeds before they set seed and spread. That is key. All right, I am gonna work on doing more follow-up videos. Um, super excited to come back here and share this place with you guys. I'd say that things grew in really, really well for 90 days. My next follow-up may be here in fall. Get back here in maybe a six month and show you guys what it looks like as we're going into the fall before winter time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. You know I'm gonna get that drone up and get you some B-roll. I struggled with my gimbal throughout this entire video, going up, going down. I think it's done. It looks like actually the little control button is broken. So I'll be breaking out the backup for the next video. Might be time for some new equipment. I would love to find a lighter rig. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. Make sure you hit that bell to stay notified. And most importantly, guys got to get out there and pound some dirt. We can all do this at home on our own, in our own yards. You don't even need me. Just watch my videos and I'll help you.